<sighs> Looks like we're live. Sneeze and all. <laughs> good morning, good morning, good morning. Actually, good afternoon also. For those of you that are joining us in the different time zones, it's actually afternoon here in Kansas. Hi, I'm Tammy Lee, and this is the Make Shift Happen, the spiritual variety show coming to you every Wednesday at noon Central Time, right here in our group, in our Facebook group, Ignite Your Joyful Heart. I'm Tammy Lee, a highly intuitive, multidimensional facilitator of healing and transformation experiences, working on all different levels in all different ways. Welcome, everyone. Today, today, I'm going to share some different things that I wasn't sure really what to, what to bring forth today. And as I kept asking, because this is one of the ways I do this is, you know, like I, I have an agenda of, or I have an outline. I like that word better than agenda. Do you like that word better than agenda? Well, I have this outline. Sometimes it's in my head. Sometimes I do put it down on paper. <laughs> and then I just ask, what is really important for today? What's really, what is, what is wanting to come through? What wants to be shared? And as I ask these questions, I open up the outline to bring on, I even ask the makeshift happen because this is this spiritual variety show. This is more than me. This is an us. This is a, mm, a coming together of. So right now, as you're, as you're joining, just take a deep breath together. Let's just take a deep breath. And just allow all things to drop away. Allow all things that no longer serve you. All the things that tied you up in knots this morning. I had those experiences myself because I found out my Kajabi site was infiltrated. And somebody created some some pages on there that were not appropriate at all. And so I was dealing with that this morning. And so we just want to take a deep breath right now. And those, those pages were published with the Emerald Compass attached to it. So I'm just taking a deep breath right now and just got done. Well, I still need to do a few things when I get off of here. But I wanted to make sure that I came in uh, fully present with you all. So see, we all, no matter how much work we do, we can still have those things that show off, that can take us out or have the potential to take us out. If we don't do our inner work. How many of you follow me on that? Of not doing the work we know. Like there is a yearning. Is there a yearning within you that maybe you don't even understand? But there's this yearning of something that is like maybe searching or maybe just wanting a, like wanting you to pay attention to it or or like you cannot even put a a sense, um, you can't make sense out of it. <clears throat> <clears throat> I've been there. That's happened to me. Like, I'm 58 now. And for decades, for decades, that has been my, uh, I guess, could say kind of like a driving force of trying to figure out what that yearning within me was being a mom of five and a grandma of 13 like 
I know that's so important. Yet there was something bigger inside of me that wanted to be discovered. Something even more, because that was about me coming into me, me finding those fragmented soul pieces that truly wanted to come back to me. Doing that work, and that's part of what happens when we do our inner healing work. Ah, that, thank you for that reminder. Just realized that I did not turn off my phone. So that's a gentle reminder to let us all know that if you have any distractions around you right now, shut your door, turn off your phone, at the least, put it on airplane mode. Like allow, allow, allow this time right now to be for you. To be for you. You know, yesterday I was reminded of a movie. Uh, golly, is it Harrison Ford that plays that in the in the, you know, where he's always looking for a treasure. I think it might be Harrison Ford. And um, well, in one of the movies, there's a group of people that tried to beat him to the punch. And, and one lady just wanted all of the information, all of their information right away, right away. Like, give it to me, give it to me. She kept saying that. Well, do you know? Well, and in the movie, it blew her up. So there are layers upon layers upon layers. And there's so much healing that we can do. So much time. And it takes, sometimes, yes, we accelerate. And sometimes we need to allow the space and the time so our physical body can assimilate all the work we're doing inside. So the last few days, today's Wednesday, the last few days I've had, and I never get headaches, hardly ever. So me to have a headache is very unusual. That's when I know something's up. So this is part of the way, you know, this is why I'm sharing this, part of the way that you can pay attention to your, to your body. So I've had just massive headaches. Now, some people would attribute that to the weather, to the biometric system, to um, eating, to, you know, whatever. For me, I know it's like, and that's okay. That's, that's their thing. But the way I always look at it is like, what kind of energy, like what's going on inside of me? What have I been, you know, because I've been doing so much deep work. Helping to facilitate the change and the shifts within me. That's why I, you know, I named this show Make Shift Happen. Because we literally can do that if you say yes. But here's something else I want to share with you. We can say yes, all that we want. But remember, remember to listen for the no. Yesterday, this totally came through for me yesterday. You see, as we facilitate change, as we heal within ourselves, as I said, you know, as a multidimensional facilitator and healer and energy tracker, we go through different dimensions, timelines and lifetimes, off planet, into other solar rings. As we, as I track energy. As I work with others, and yesterday I was working with others, 
And I just, and, and so, and I always, I've always had this yes inside of me. And yesterday I could not find that yes. Not in the powerful way it's been showing up. Instead, what came forth was a no. And so we worked with the no. Me and a few other ladies, we worked with the no that was showing up. Because I know I'm about to shift to another level. I've been feeling that for the last two weeks, especially as I come home from Crestone. Well, actually during Crestone, that whole sacred experience that I was there in late July on a sacred journey in Crestone, Colorado, there were so many shifts and, and realizations that came through that. And I'm share this with you today. Because if you're on this path or you're thinking about being on the path of healing your inner self, of calling back your sacred soul essences, your fragmented soul pieces, it's a process. It is a process. And we want to flow with things. Want to flow with the river, not try to paddle up against the river. And sometimes, no matter how long you've been doing this work, your work, we might not know that we're fighting the current, that we're try trying to paddle upstream. That's why having a group of people to work with that's part of the reason why I created the Emerald Compass Sacred Sisterhood. This program that we have going on right now. That you're very much invited to check it out and, and see if it's right for you. If, see if we're right for you and you're right for us and join us on this pathway of higher acceleration of finding, creating, re-communicating, reconnecting our true potential sacred self. There's still time to join. Yes, there is. Let's reach out to me. I'll take you through the steps and I'll share with you what's going on. So as we were working together yesterday, me and these three other women that are also multidimensionals, that no coming forth that's in me that I did not know was there. They held sacred space for me to show up. Just as we hold sacred space in the Emerald Compass Sacred Sisterhood for each other, just as I hold sacred space as I do one-on-one -on -one work. Okay, so as this no come forward, Listening to it, no longer denying it, allowing it to have a voice. So I want to ask you, how many times, and let me know, share with us, is this a yes or no? How many times or have you ever said a yes when you really felt a no inside? When you really felt a no inside? But you still, you ignored it and you said yes to something. I've done that. And as we start to recognize that, 
we start to see when we do our inner work, our inner healing work, we allow that no that's can be so subtle and so deep inside to come forth that's in us. And one of the things that was suggested for me yesterday, because I, I, oh my gosh, I cried. I just, I just bawled. Because here's a couple of things that I realized is, because the ladies I work with, excuse me, the ladies I work with, we all have a yes. And here I was having a no. And what I realized where the te tears were coming from was the fear, like, uh, like downright terror that if they saw my no, and this is where sacred space holders come in, because that's what they were, allowing that no to come forth. But there was a part of me that was, holy shit, man, if they hear, if they really know that I have a no, Am I going to be ousted? Am I never, are they never going to work with me again? Like those thoughts came up with that no. Because here's one thing about me that you may not know. When I do this work, I go deep and I go, I dive all in. I'm not here to mess around. And I've been, I have been with other people in other groups that say they're spiritual, say they're healers. And I've been ousted by some because I, I lay it on the line of how, how we, how I am, what I'm feeling, what's going through me, because that's part of the work, right? <laughs> well, some people, most people cannot handle me. I'm not here to mess around. So when I'm in something, when I gather with other women to do my work, to facilitate change within me so I can grow and expand to help more of you, so I can be that, that beacon of light in the world. Because I know that's part of my purpose, my sacred purpose, to bring that hope. I don't mess around. Like, there's no time for that anymore. We're all being called women. We're all being called to step up, to step into our sacred gifts, to find them, to, to find those heart gems within us, to polish them, to unearth them. To go into the womb space of who we are and heal that in miraculous ways. Because I'm telling you, miracles happen. And I, I know that my body was trying to assimilate all that work I've been doing because of the headaches of my jaw, my teeth, my actual teeth hurt, like physically hurt. They still kind of do a bit sensitive, but they feel like they're like my teeth are almost like, like a rock, like a, like a, mm, like a stone. Like my teeth are stone. That's what they've been feeling like the last 72 hours now. Going into 72 hours. My jaw, my jaws have been hurting so bad. And to where I can't go to sleep at night. I was up until 3 a.m. this morning. I went to bed early. I was tired. And, and I'm just sharing this with you because this is truth. Nobody tells you this. I never heard this, that sometimes our body has to assimilate this work that we we're doing. All these years, I've been working with spiritual teachers. 
Like nobody ever said that, that you will go through certain periods of time that your body needs to catch up because we go through our emotional body, our mental body, our spiritual body, and the physical, the physicality is the, is the last place that it actually assimilates. And that's why we also teach about, in the Emerald Compass Sacred Sisterhood, about sacred self-love. We must, we must, we must, women. Whether you join the program or not, that's totally up to you. If the only thing you get from today is how vital sacred self-love is, we require that. Is it vital for our systems to be able to facilitate the change as we do our inner work? Sometimes we just have to unplug. And as that no was coming forth yesterday, and I was so scared, like I could feel the little girl in me so scared that, because this is one of my biggest fears, or has been, that the people I truly love, respect, and honor, like I am honored by the presence of these women in my life, the women that showed up in Crestone, I am honored, honored, honored by the presence of them being in my life. And one of my one of my intentions was to be fully truthful with who I am because when we are truly fully truthful in who we are wow the true you comes forth there's no pretense and when you're welcomed like that, like that's what I do with people. I welcome the whole full essence of who they are forth. You, very rare that we can find people like that. Very rare. And I have found some. And so what I was sharing was one of my intentions is, not only that I can fully show up in my full truth and be accepted, but that I can also see me through them and how they shined. And, and so many, my own gifts came forth that I haven't been able, I haven't, either I haven't known or I wasn't able to utilize in a long time. Lives were changed. Lives were enhanced in that experience <clears throat> to this very moment. But as that no came forth yesterday, me now being the one of fully, full out, full out, full out, and feeling, and feeling kind of, how would I say this? I felt zapped out, but I still showed up in that group. Showing up is 80% of success. Maybe it's even 90. Can't remember the actual percentage, but it's very high. Just showing up, just showing up. Whether or not you can participate, just show up. Showing up here today. Go ahead and type in your name in the in the chat below the video. Who's showing up today? It doesn't matter if you understand what I'm sharing, because I'll tell you, there is a transmission coming through this energy, this frequency of, of 
energy is coming through. I can feel it. I can sense it. I can know it. I can taste it. Because the no in all of us wants the capability, wants the probability, wants the opportunity to be heard, to be seen, to be witnessed, to be accepted, to be loved in spite of whatever no we have inside of us. Yes, this is truth. I was so loved yesterday. I was so held. All the, so many beings were showing up and it was like this piece Thank you for that. I see there's still an emotion. This piece of me had to be there. Like had to show up. I had to just show up for this part of me to be able to show up. Like Tammy and Bull had to show up in order for this no in me to have the strength and the courage to show up, to come forth through me. And as it did, and as I allowed the emotion to move, to move, to move, we must allow our emotion to move, ladies. I invite you. To allow the emotion to move. If that's all, you know what? Sometimes I do sessions with women and that is all that happens is their emotion just starts to move because I'm holding that sacred space for them. I'm holding that space. Those sacred moments of when emotion moves, allowing that. So, as we allow that emotion to move, as I did yesterday, allowing the no to have a voice. Yeah, allowing the no to have a voice. And underneath it, what I discovered Because I've been feeling this something happening. Don't even know what, what it is. But being in the flow, just staying with it. Like an acceleration of my gifts. Or something is opening up to where I can... I don't even know how to explain it, honestly. But I can sense it. An opening of more gifts coming online for me. Sacred. Sacred gifts that have never been seen before. That was one of the messages I received when I was in Cresto. Ancient, ancient, hidden away gifts. So, as I... As I allowed that no to come forth yesterday. And all the feelings. Because I even said I was, I was feeling stupid. I was feeling lost and terrified. And afraid I would be condemned. All of that. Allowing all of that to be seen, to be witnessed. There is power in that, ladies. There is power in that. To know that you are embraced in spite of all things can set you free, can set you on fire in ways we have no ideas about. 
in ways we have no ideas about. Trust me on this because I, that has been my experiences time and time and time again, especially over the last two years. And it's just, it's exponentially multiplying as time goes on. Okay, so as that no came forth, what I realized was there was a part of me that in a different lifetime and dimension that I lived at one time, I had all full, all on gifts, and I was condemned for that. Now I'm sharing stuff with you I normally don't share right now. And there is this part of me, this no inside of me, this, this little part that was so terrified. Like it's still filler. She's still with me. She's she's I like, wow, you're really saying this, Tammy? Like I can hear this part of me. Because some of us that have lived other lifetimes have been condemned, have been set on fire, have been tortured, have been all these different things because of our magic, because of our sacred gifts that we would utilize. We, at times, could have even been demonized, cursed, other things. And so that know in me that can feel that next step in my evolution happening was terrified. That if I said a full out yes, like it was like it was protecting me from do from having a full out yes. So that part of me, this is where sacred self-care takes place, ladies. So I had to be, so I chose to be, and still I am with that part of me talking to her. Allowing her to have this emotion, like right now, she's got that emotion that's coming forth as I'm sharing this with you. Because, yeah, she's still terrified. She's got to learn to trust me. See, there's more than what you see in Tammy. There's more than what you see in yourself. There's more than what you see when you look in the mirror. <clears throat> that's why I continually have when I work with people like take our eyes and take them down to our heart space so we're looking through our heart so we're looking through our heart not through the eyes of our face because when we look through the eyes of our face versus the heart then our brain and our mind gets like tied up in it we try to figure things out and we get too too much in the head. And I'm always saying this, right, Carol? Hi, Carol. And she's on her, like, out of the mind into the heart. Okay, Carol, drop down into your heart. Okay, girls, drop down into your heart. Like, and I had to be reminded of that yesterday. I was like, time and time and time again. Like, I couldn't even stay in my heart space. I felt like I was brand new at doing this work. Yesterday, I felt like I was. And I could have beat myself up mercifully, merciful, mercifully. You know what I'm trying to say. No mercy. That's why I knew I had to show up yesterday, working with these other women to help me. Because when we get to this point in our life, when we get this this point where of our work, we usually go to a default. What's been the default in my past? So 
I'll share with you some of my defaults. So as I'm sharing with you some of my defaults, think about what your defaults are. Like when you're spent, what do you do? Um, I would go zone out watching TV. Um, I would, now I still, I do that every now and then, but like it has no, there's no, there's like, there's nothing on TV. There's nothing, nothing on Netflix that even appeals to me. <clears throat> I would, I would binge watch different things. <sighs> when I, when this kind of point in my life, like there's a default. Yesterday, what I do, I went and walked the land. And I talked to the snow inside of me i allowed her to be with me and walk with me because she's got to learn she's got to grow she's got to know building that trust relationship within ourselves that that's what it is thank you carol for being honest carol scrolls facebook that's what she does Thank you, Carol. I really appreciate your honesty. See, being able to speak your truth, being able to recognize your defaults, not beating yourself up for it. Just recognize them. Like, ah, okay, I'm starting to follow. That's why we have, that's why we have the Emerald Compass Sacred Sisterhood. That's why I do one-on-one -on -one work because we all need those people in our lives that when we veer off the path they can gently come and bring us back on so hearing your no now yesterday when that no came forth like this is very accelerated work <sighs> Whew. <clears throat> and it took me a long time to build up to this <sighs> to get to this point to where I could hear that no but it also took being in a group Working with three other women, like where two or more are gathered, magic happens. And it was a container that I could show up in. Fully. Just as what this container that I create every Wednesday at noon is. Because there's other beings besides Tammy here with you right now. <laughs> Whether you're here live or listening to the replay. So what are your defaults when you're spent? When you... Like yesterday, I even had this thought like, I don't even know why I'm alive. Like I was so... I was so, and, and this happens when we do, when we really do our inner work. These moments can happen. I used to have to figure my way through this on my own. Thank goodness, thank goodness, thank goodness, I no longer have to do that. Oh. That's another reason why I do the work I do. Because I never, ever, 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 ever want anybody, especially women, to feel like they're alone on this path to realizing, to healing, to discovering your full, sacred, potential self. 
I know what that loneliness feels like. When I was 40, it almost took my life. <clears throat> and by sharing this, because I, I even asked, like, why am I sharing this? Because, because we're supposed to, okay, so this is the, what are you and how do I preface this? We've been taught that in business, when you share story, like everything's supposed to be about everyone else. So I'm sharing this story about me. Like today, it's all about what Tammy went through, what Tammy did, what, and I'm, and, but I feel like, I, yet I'm compelled because somebody somewhere is going through something or about ready to go through something on a, on a, level that they'll remember this recording and they'll like oh yeah so this is a natural process oh yeah i remember that i remember tammy telling us about that story about herself so sometimes <laughs> sometimes you can't listen to what the experts say you listen to this you listen to that inner voice you listen to the inner voice of one is sharing with you. You listen to your spirit and what it wants you to share. That's how I. Yeah. That's how I roll. So that work is still being going on. The processes are still happening. I'm feeling more alive today than I was yesterday. I still have the pain in my jaw. So I, I know that there is something else there. There's something energetically that wants to be looked at. Don't think you have to get it all done in one big swoop. Mm -hmm. So just take a deep breath. Breathe into that heart space. <sighs> Allow your no to have a voice. Why don't we allow our no to have a voice? What do you think? Hmm. Hmm. I'm afraid that our community or our family or that we will be looked at strangely or be made fun of or wanting to fit in. Some people just say yes all the time in order to fit in, in order to be one of the gang, in order to get along with everybody. I started saying no over 20 years ago to things. And my Tim's family did not like that uh, in some regards. In some regards. It, nor did mine. <laughs> now that I just thought of something. Allow. Your no, allow your no. Whew. 
Allow your no to have a voice. You may just be surprised how that will exponentially catapult you into a new beginning, into a new awareness. even into a new path. Carol says that someone, um, she some won't listen to her no a lot because someone will look down on her for not saying yes. So we want to ask, who are those people? Who are those people that we're afraid of? <laughs> will look down on us. They were those people that we are concerned about how we think they feel about us. Who are they? Are they doing their work? Like, why do we allow that to be concerned to us? It's a good question to contemplate over the next week. Why do we allow others like the reaction of others to take us out of listening to our no. Why do we allow the reactions of others or what we think how they're going to react, how we perceive how they will react If we listen to our no, if we allow our no to come forth. Do you know that? So like me saying, because this is, I've been working with these women for over six months. That The women that I was working with yesterday that were helping me. We all have a yes. We've always had a yes. I'm the first one that has said and was honest about, I don't feel my yes. That we went into the snow. So maybe by me doing that, gave permission. If any of them have a no in them, gave permission for that no, like, to come forth. <sighs> by being true to ourselves, ladies. We are teachers to others. By being true to ourselves, by speaking our truth, even when it's so scary. By allowing ourselves to be seen in our vulnerability. We are teachers. And we give permission for others to show up like that when we show up like that. Does that make sense? Does that make sense to you how I just said that? So let's take this one place further. Can we allow our children, our grandchildren, can we allow ourselves to be witness to their no? Can we hear their no? Can we be present and listen to their no? Ask them to explain their no when it comes up. So they don't have to wait. Wow. <clears throat> Can we do that for each other? Can we be okay with that?
so they don't have to wait. So you don't have to wait until you're 58 like I am to allow, to really have that know that's been hidden inside. They've been so scared, terrified to be seen or heard. To raise up and be heard. To be raised up out of me, to come forth from within me. To be seen and heard. Wow, right? Mind blown? <laughs> Can you imagine? So just imagine this with me. Can you imagine how much closer your relationships would be? How much more oh, just space and openness? Just imagining that, the energy is just like expanding. Being witness to someone else to know. Being a sacred space holder. For the know that's inside of others that really desires to come forth because that can just be the one thing that is keeping them, keeping you from stepping up to your next level, to their next level. So this next week, I want you to, at least one person, hear their no. Be witness to that. Be the sacred space holder for that. However that shows up. Could be in a grandchild, could be in a little one, could be an adult, could be your partner, could be your child. And see how that can shift relationship, you, your internal self. And please share, please share how that will facilitate some change within us. And around us. I can already feel it happening. And if you need somebody to hold space for you, to be your sacred space holder, reach out to me. I am here for you. And remember, we're still taking, we're still taking, like you're still invited to join the Emerald Compass Sacred Sisterhood where we can do this, where we are doing this for each other. This is Tammy Lee with the Makeshift Happen Spiritual Variety Show for August 12th, 2020. Cheers, everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for joining me today. I'd love to hear. This is a new subject matter. So let me know what you think. I'd love to hear from you. Yeah. I can feel the energy shifting and moving and there's excitement brewing. Cheers, everyone. Have a most magnificent day. <laughs>